Hello guys, and welcome back to the Zane Investing. We appreciate you joining us today and your support. I've returned with a massive AMC update. There is evidence that the tokenized shares of AMS in GameStop may have been the final straw for Sam Bankman Fried. Before I continue, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by clicking the corresponding icon. Unusual tweets from Wells, can you confirm whether tokenized shares of AMC, GameStop, and others were backed one to one? Because customer funds and deposits were not backed one to one, today's odd well space inquiry asks, as BFI am unable to answer that question. That should be a yes or no question. The latest development in the fight against synthetic shares, the tokenized share owned by FTX and others on the blockchain, has dominated discussion in the ape community over the past several weeks. For those who are still trying to figure out how this works, the tokenized share represents a real AMC share. The blockchain enables these shares to be traded outside of established venues, such as the United States stock market. In theory, this is a positive outcome. Apes from all over the world could join our group and help us grow stronger. Nonetheless, there are few occurrences that are inexplicable. First and foremost, there were never any actual shares backing of these tokenized positions, notwithstanding Sam Bankman Crypto Fried's broker FTX representations to the contrary. And we know this because data indicates that 8 quadrillion tokenized AMC shares are available for trading on the blockchain. With the current arrest, however, the apes have begun to question whether or not these shares contributed to the demise of the second largest cryptocurrency brokerage in the world. SEC press release on pricing is the third concealment point, as BF mentions of liquid assets including FTX affiliated tokens. Tokenized stocks were, in my opinion, the worst fraud that FTX was used for and even the SEC is undermining them. Both the Securities and Exchange Commission and the Prosecutor's Office for the Southern District of New York have unsealed charges against key members of the FTC's inner circle in an effort to protect their allies. And one of the most intriguing aspects is the charger's allegations. In addition to using client funds to engage in margin trading at Alameda, the hedge fund linked with FTX in the form of a line of credit. The sexy contends that FTC's exposure to cert Alameda Holdings posed a tremendous amount of concealed risk. Now, some of these are in the form of FTX FTC's own token, which supported a significant portion of their value. However, we do know that FTX alone possessed at least 550,000 unbacked tokenized AMC shares. These shares were utilized by hedge funds as locates for their failure to deliver positions once again allowing them to kick the can down the road due to the fact that FTX surged at the same week that FTX declined and the cost of borrowing AMC shares rose. Simply put, supply and demand demonstrates that the elimination of these shares has placed hedge funds in a difficult position. However, this does apply to the stock tokens or tokens that are circulating in the system, particularly those for stocks such as GameStop and AMC. The fact that they may still be used to manipulate the share price of AMC in the United States is astounding and once again demonstrates that hedge funds are so over-leveraged in their short positions that they are forced to employ any means necessary to stay afloat. And despite the fact that the monkeys have once again exposed their wrongdoing, knowing Wall Street, they will devise yet another strategy to continue to fight back. At this time, the bearish thesis for AMC is defunct and there is no opportunity for hedge funds to profit from their short positions. As more shares entered the market following the decline in the shares on loan, the cost to borrow has also decreased. However, it is still 40 times more expensive for hedge funds to short AMC than it was only a few months ago, and we are inching lower. The line of hedges seeking coverage is longer than ever as the one-year anniversary of 100% use approaches. As hedge funds proceeded to kick the can down the road, it is evident that apes hold the upper hand. The mother of all short squeezes is looming so long as we continue to diamond and our AMC shares. As always, the end of this video has been reached. Please scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. Tap the thumbs up button for me, and while you are at it, subscribe to the channel. Go obtain some free stock from Moomoo. The link is included in the description. Acceptable thank you for supporting and viewing our station. Regards from the moon.